In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bar chart animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once we're inside of Adobe After Effects, we first just want to begin by creating two lines. So one going down the vertical and one going across the horizontal axis. And in order to help with this, we're gonna turn on the proportional grid. Now we'll go up to the pen tool and we'll just draw a line. So we'll start here. We'll go down to this point here and we'll go across like so. Now, as you can see, I've got my fill options set to no fill, which is what you want. You want to press OK on that with no fill. Then you want to set your stroke color to a color of your choice. And then you can decrease your stroke width if you want to make that thinner. Of course, if you wanted to increase the scale of this, then you can always just press S on your keyboard and increase the scale. And then we can just move the position of this down so that it is in the center like so. Of course, again, if this is too thick for you, then just pull down this stroke width. So I've got that set to eight and that looks about right. So now we can go ahead and we can begin with the bar chart animation. Now I'm just going to lock this shape layer. So this horizontal and vertical line, we'll just lock this using the padlock icon. This means whatever we do, we're not going to affect this. Now I'm gonna go layer, new, solid. We can change the color of this to a color of your choice. So I'm gonna go for a blue press OK, press OK, and then you want to press S on your keyboard to load scale. Or alternatively, just go into this drop down arrow, transform scale, and then we want to unlink the horizontal and the vertical axis. So we'll select the unlink or the constrained proportions icon. Then we'll pull the first number down to around five and we'll pull the second number down to around 20. Now, as you can see, our anchor point is in the middle. So this is our anchor point here. And that basically means when we increase the scale, it's going to increase from this point. So that means when we want to animate the bar going up, if we increase the scale height, it's going to increase from that point. So because it's in the middle, it's going to increase the scale up and down. So instead, what we'll do is we'll change the anchor point to the bottom. That means when we increase the scale, it's going to animate from the bottom up and there'll be no animation underneath. So we'll just drag this anchor point all the way up here. Feel free to zoom in and make sure you get this nice and precise. So we'll put that right on the edge there. And that means when we increase the scale height, as you can see, we've got this bar animation now happening. So what we're gonna do is we're going to move this into the bottom left corner of your bar chart animation. So somewhere around here. Feel free to overlap it here a little bit. It's completely fine because we'll drop that underneath that layer. Now we'll pull the vertical scale down to zero. We'll create a brand new keyframe on scale and we'll go roughly one second over to the right and we'll increase the scale to where you want that to sit. So we'll go somewhere up to around here. So let's play that back. We've got that bar animation now taking place. Although if you wanted to add a little bit of character, I would add a little bit of a bounce so it goes slightly higher than where it needs to go and then comes back down. So I would just go over to the right, create a brand new keyframe on the scale go to that second keyframe, and then I would just pull this scale up just a little bit. So when we play this back, you can see we get this nice bounce. Although all of that was just a bit too slow for my liking. So I'm just going to pull these keyframes closer together. And that creates this really nice animation. Of course, so at the moment, it just looks a little bit clunky and a bit amateur. So we're going to convert these linear keyframes. So we'll highlight all of those. We'll right click one of them go keyframe assistant and we'll convert that into an easy ease keyframe. And that's how this will change the look of the animation. So as you can see, that looks a lot more dynamic. So from there, just go ahead and copy this blue solid. So we'll go command C, command V. We'll press P on the keyboard to load position and we'll drag that over. Then you can do that again. So we'll go command C, command V, or if you're on Windows, that is control C, control V. Move the position over. We'll do this one more time. Position, we'll move that over. In fact, we'll do it one more time because there's room for another one here. Press P, move that one over like so. And when we play this back, you can see we've got five bars now animating in at the same time at the same height. So first of all, let's address the color. So at the moment, they're all blue. So what we're gonna do is we'll go into effects and presets and search for tint. Now, if you drop tint onto one of these layers, so let's go for this one here, the one on the right. You're going to have to change the matte black two to a color of your choice. So let's go red. Copy this hex code 
press OK, go into the map white too, and we'll paste that hex code in there so that it's matching the black and the white. And as you can see, that is now red. But if you didn't want a solid color and you wanted more of a gradient, you can just go into effects and presets and search for gradient. That should load up four color gradient or alternatively you can search for ramp and that will load up gradient ramp, which is a two color gradient. So we do start color, we'll go for a red and then the end color can be a darker red, so somewhere down here. And as you can see, that looks a lot more dynamic versus just a normal solid color. So I'm just going to copy that gradient ramp and paste that onto the next box across and we'll change the color slightly. So we'll go for a green. So dark green here in this example, paste that onto that layer. We'll go for a yellow and a dark yellow again. So somewhere around there. So as you can see, we've got this really awesome color selection now on all of our bars. But now we need to go ahead and change the values and change the height of each one of these individual bars. So I'm just going to increase the workspace here. Then we'll go to the second solid, press S on the keyboard. We'll go to that last keyframe and we'll just change the height to our desired number. So about 33. And then we'll change the second number to a slightly smaller number. So the so we finish on 33. So let's go for somewhere around 40 just to add a little bit of subtle bounce. And as you can see, that's how that now looks. Then we can just work through all of our individual layers. So we'll just press S on those. So when we play this back, you can see this is how this now looks, which looks great, but I think it'll be really nice to stagger this. So we'll start with the blue one, then the pink one, then the yellow one, and just stagger this on. So in order to do this, we're just going to make sure we've got the first layer there. Then as you can see, we've got our last keyframe there. So we'll move the second layer over to meet that last keyframe. And let's see how that looks. That's a bit slow. So what we're going to do is we'll just pull it up to that second keyframe and play that back. And that looks a lot better. So we'll just move the third layer over to the second keyframe. We'll move the fourth layer over to the second keyframe on that layer. And then we'll pull the last layer over to the second keyframe on that layer as well. And let's see how that looks. There you go. That looks really awesome. So now that we've created this bar chart animation, we now need to figure out what this actually means. So we need to add in some text. So we'll just add some text across the bottom. So we'll press T on the top bar of After Effects. That is the horizontal type tool. And just type out one of your values. Then we'll go to the very beginning. We'll press S on the keyboard to load up scale. We'll go roughly half a second to the right and create a brand new keyframe on scale. Then we'll go back in time a few frames and we'll increase the size of this. So 120, 130. Then we'll go to the beginning and we'll pull this to zero. So we get this nice text animation coming in. Of course, feel free to move the position over to match this bar here. Now I'm just going to copy this layer. Command C, Command V. We'll change the value to value two and we'll move the position over. Then we'll copy that one. We'll change this to value three and we'll move the position over. The keyboard shortcut for position, by the way, is P. That's how I'm loading up position. Then we'll copy value three, change this to value four and we'll move the position over again. And then we'll do the same thing for the last one. So copy that. That should be value five. We'll move the position over. But at the moment, you can see this is all quite squashed in together. So we're going to select all of those text layers and I'll change the font size down to, let's go for around 30. And that is in the character window, by the way. So if you can't see that, then just go window and character. Make sure there is a tick there. But we'll zoom out and we'll play that back. And this is how this now all looks. Again, if you wanted to stagger the text, then all you have to do is just move them over like this. That's just going to stagger the entrance of all of those text layers. So we'll play this back. You can see that's how that looks. And then of course you can do the same thing going up the left. You can add in these specific values. So what this correlates to. So this could be currency, this could be numbers, whatever it is, just add that in across there using the same text animation like we did across the bottom. Of course, as well, you can always animate some lines to go across. So if you did want that, then this is how you would do that. So making sure that nothing is selected, we'll go back up to our pen tool. 
and then we'll turn on the proportional grid for reference. So let's go for this line, create a point here, and then we'll go across and make a point here. Make sure the stroke width is nice and thin. So somewhere around two or three. So let's go for three in this example. And then we'll drop that underneath all of the bars and drop that underneath everything. So that's under all of the bars. So if we turn off the proportional grid, you can now see that line there. And then all you have to do from there is just copy that line. So Command C or Control C and then move that up. We'll copy that layer, Command C, Command V, move the position of that one up. Same thing again, copy, paste, position, up. Copy, paste, position, up. And when we zoom out and play this back from the very beginning, you can see we've got this really awesome bar chart animation inside of Adobe After Effects. And the great news is if you create a new null object, so we'll go layer, new, null object, make sure this layer is now unlocked. If you highlight everything, and then use this parent and link tool. So this pit whip icon will select that and drag that over to the null. Everything is now linked to that null object. So if we go into the null, we can change the scale of the null and that's going to affect this bar chart animation. So we can pull this down. We can put this into a corner. It's completely up to you, but there you go. That is the bar chart animation now completed inside of Adobe After Effects. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully you enjoyed watching. So see you on the next video.